Good morning, excuse me. I would like to see the human resources manager, please. Good morning, sir. Of course, but why do you exactly want to see the manager? I have an interview with him today. They called me yesterday and told me to come. Okay, sir. Can you please tell me your name and last name? It is required. Sure, my name is John Smith. I came for the new job opening you have for a supervisor. I see. Can you please wait for a moment while I tell the manager you're here? Sure, I'm going to take a seat in the reception. Just let me know, please. Okay, here we are, John. Relax, you're going to get it. You are the best. I'm starting to feel nervous. I think I'll drink a cup of coffee so I can relax a little. Mr. Smith? Yes. Here I am. I am Mr. Smith. The manager will interview you right now. Yes, sir, the human resources manager is in his office. You can go in. Mr. Smith, right? How do you feel today, Mr. Smith? Oh, I'm fine. It's a pleasure to meet you. It has been a great morning for me. That's good. So, you came here for the job opening we have for? For the new supervisor. Your secretary called me yesterday to tell me I was selected for this interview. Oh, right. So, have you worked as a supervisor before, or is it your first time? I have been working in the same area for years, and I think I'm ready to move forward. Great. Although we don't usually hire people with zero experience in the area. Oh no, I do have a lot of experience in the area, but not as a supervisor. I see. Don't worry, Mr. Smith. Why don't you tell me a little about yourself? About myself? Sure, where to start? Well, you already know my name and surname. I haven't always lived in the city. I moved from California some years ago to study here. I came to this city just for that reason, to study a career. I studied business management. That's excellent. Congratulations. And why did you decide to study that career? Well, my father was a businessman too and the general manager of an important company. Of course, it was many years ago because now he's retired. He is 70 years old now. Anyway, I used to see him talking about business and how to manage a company, and I liked that. And that's why I decided to study this amazing career. 
I think I can do a great job as a supervisor. Okay, so what do you think is necessary for this job position, Mr. Smith? Since you need to manage people, you need to have leadership first, and I think I have it. You think you have it? Why do you say that? Can you give me an example of your leadership? I grew up in California, and it's true I wasn't the best student at school, at least not at math or science. But I was chosen as the high school president for three years in a row. That was amazing. As the president, I could help the students to get some improvements for the school, of course. And why were you chosen as the high school president if you weren't that intelligent? I was popular, and many people knew about my abilities to manage difficult situations. I see. Now, I would like to know about your family. Tell me about it, please. I have two brothers and one sister. They all live in California with my parents in a big house. I was the only member of the family who decided to move from his hometown. I really wanted to become a professional, and that's why I worked to pay for the career. That's impressive. Now, what are your greatest strengths and weaknesses? Well, I consider myself as a responsible and committed person. That's one of my strengths. I can take full responsibility for my team's performance, being it good or bad. I'm also committed to my career, so if I need to stay extra hours to complete a project, I won't hesitate to do that. And about my weakness, I can be stubborn sometimes. I could say that it's conviction, but it is not good to believe something can go just one way. Of course, I'm working on that. I think it is normal to confuse. You're right. Sometimes when we do things with passion, we can do it wrongly. I have five years working in the business management area, and I could learn those things. I see. And are you able to work under pressure? That's usual here. Sure, I am. In my five years working in this area, I always worked under pressure. That is something very usual in this job. We have to deal with different situations every day. I'm glad to hear that you're able to work under pressure and lead a large group of people to achieve objectives. Now, what is the biggest challenge you have ever faced in your life? I am the kind of person who likes challenges. Since I was a child, I faced a lot of them. But I think the biggest one was the decision to move to another city. It was hard to do. I had to deal with debts, finding a place to live, getting a work to pay for my stuff. 
It was definitely a difficult moment in my life, but happily, I could handle it successfully. It really is. Okay, Mr. Smith, I don't usually hire inexperienced workers, but this time I'm going to make an exception. I think you have the necessary qualities for this job, and of course, you can learn easily how to manage people in this company. You know, this is an important company in the city, and we need people who can represent us well. So, I think you passed this interview, and you are now able to come tomorrow to talk to the general manager because you need to meet him, and he's going to explain more about this company. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you very much. I promise I will do my best for this company. It was nice to meet you, John. Welcome to H Enterprise. I will see you tomorrow morning. It was my pleasure. I will be here tomorrow early. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Yes, yes, I got it. Yes, I knew I could. Yes.